All right, how's everyone doing today? It's been a while, as you can tell. Been moving into our new house, and uh, it's been quite quite an adventure. We're going to be uh, lathering up with two different brushes: the Simpson Chubby Two right here, and the Chubby Three. And I'm going to show the difference between them. This was a gift right here. This is exceedingly expensive, and I bought this one. Um, they both hold a tremendous amount of water. And as you can see the difference in size, I mean, they're huge. I mean, this thing, is, it, just, it literally eclipses the other one. I don't know if you can tell the difference, not really, but from that angle. So I'm gonna show the difference between them and ask the question, is it worth getting this three? Cause this is in Super Badger and this is in Best Badger. So the hair quality should be better in this than in this. So let's get started. And today we're going to be lathering up with Bear Stern Man Black Label Lavender. I don't believe that this is offered anymore. This is one of the soaps I used in my uh, How to Lather with the Shave and Brush video. All right, let's get started. And we're going to go for about 25 30 seconds. Well, how's everyone been? I'll tell you, it's been some long days I'm getting everything ready to move. This is one of the last videos in this bathroom. All right, this really feels like more than enough right here. Let's do it just a bit more, just to be safe. All right. So I'm giving you my opinion on the two of them at the end of the video. Well, probably during the shave, but there's so much hair here and it is a lather hog. All right, let's get started. I have to go with a bit more of a longer load here. It's such a lather hog. This knot doesn't really flow all that well. I don't know if it's just this particular brush or if it's common to all of the Chevy 3s. So this here is about the same amount of time as the Chevy 2 and it just doesn't go a little bit longer. I feel like that. All right. Hopefully this is enough. In the past I've had problems with the chubby three knot letting the lather flow out of the brush and taking a tremendous amount of time to lather up. So we'll use the chubby three on the right here. Or should we do them both at the same time? No, that was a bit weird last time. Look how much of this my, <laughs> my face it takes up. I mean, that's a pretty incredible amount. So, I will apologize for my absence here, but uh, y'all haven't missed any shaves. Hey, that been super busy. Today, we're gonna go get the lights, water, and gas cut on there. Looks dry, feels dry. Right. And you just gotta load up so much soap on this brush. And if anyone has any ideas as to what could be done differently, let me know. That's finally wet enough there.
And we're gonna be going with a uh, above the time, the H2. Due to the amount of growth I got in here. So much faster. So we didn't have to load up <laughs> nearly as much soap. Mm, does not taste too good. All right. They have the same consistency, so that's good. And the hair quality, I'm gonna wait till the next one the next pass to really talk about that with as much growth as I have on there. Really too difficult to tell too much. Neither one of them were pokey like a new boar brush or a horse hair brush or a pure badger had been had cut tips. And these sideburns are getting a little unruly so we're gonna change where they get come Right there, the bottom of the tray is. Got a silver blue in it. See, the only difference in this shape is going to be the brushes because the lather was the same, really. It was just achieved in about half the time, which maybe for someone who does head shaving, that would be beneficial. because it holds a massive amount of lather. And that not holds so much water. It's gonna stay hydrated. three is a gift for making someone a brush a few years back. And they bought it thinking, well the chubby two is what's considered like the one of the best premium brushes out there. in best bedroom. So why not go with the next one up in the better hair quality? And I also wondered why they wanted to trade the Chevy 3 for brush that I made. I was like, that's a, a more than I would ever <laughs> charge for any any brush that I've ever made.
here. Okay, so we'll do the same. All right. Chevy 3, over here. Now it is exceptionally soft and it feels like you've got a cloud, like a firm marshmallow cloud of lather there. And it's just getting everywhere. But, well, not like flinging everywhere, but it's just such a massive brush. Maintain moisture. No scratchiness at all. On my <laughs> nearly shaved skin. All right. Yeah. Chevy two. Same thing. Nowhere near as massive. But same firm feel from it, and it's not. Scratchy at all. I mean, okay. Well, I'll say this is softer when you get just the tips on there, the initial push. This is softer. Enough to justify the difference in cost between super and best. I wouldn't say so, because how often are you just lightly pushing on with the tips? Not that often. Okay, cross the grain here. When you redo this J hook in motion like that, as long as you're moving forward and twisting it and not just sitting on there and twisting it, it's okay. Because you don't shake like this. It's just my hair grows this way. And if I was to come in like that, it'd be so close to against the grain that I'd have irritation right there. I do believe this blade's about had it. This is the third shave on this blade. Still comfortable, still smooth, but you can feel that it's lost its edge. Now to everyone out there that changes or you know waits till they feel as if the performance of their blades changed. How often do you change your blades? Every other shave, two to three, three to four. For me, I find it's every three to five shaves.
Let's feel where we go. Go a little bit better. I'm losing it there. Here. Okay. Here, here. You're right there. All right. So this is as much as coming out right here. Just this little thin amount. But look at how much is in there. I mean, and look at all the water coming out. That's what I mean by this thing is a absolute leather hog. As much soap as I use, or as much extra time that we use to lather it up and get it right, I'd expect it to do perform a bit better. And we'll do the same thing with this, just to be fair. Look how much it looks like it's coming out much more freely. It's still the correct consistency, look at the difference. You be the judge. I do believe the Chevy 3 is a little over like a hundred dollars more, especially if you go with the difference between Best and Super. Is that was like a hundred dollar better performance. No. Oh no. Look at that. That's not running everywhere. That's actual usable, beautiful leather. So, the Chevy 2 wins out, regardless if it's in best or super badger, over the Chevy 3. And there's the results. Smooth this way and this way. This is gonna get all right. Let's get cleaned up. After shave, we're going with Florida water. Really enjoy this. This this was in the uh, 
high value wet shaving products and a very similar scent to 4711 but I don't know it's one fourth one fifth the cost it's got that citrusy musky scent to it and get twice as much for a third the price. So I guess it's six times as much. 47 out of six times as much. It's crazy. Alright, we're gonna put on some 444, and this is just mentholated post-shave gel. Don't take too much, about that much per rear cheeks, and about the same amount for the neck. Just to help keep the moisture in. Be moving into that house for the next few days. Then move it into it and tell you, forget how difficult it is to kind of pick up your whole life and move it. But I do apologize for the amount of time I've been gone. And we'll make it up to you. We'll do some moving in giveaway. We'll figure out what that is. And then. Uh, And of course, hopefully we'll get to 50 subscribers and we'll do a giveaway of a brush I already, already made. I've yet to show it. Gotta go, I'll find it here soon and we'll get it on one of the next couple videos. And then for the 100 subscribers, I'm gonna film making one and we're gonna give away that brush. So, I'm sorry to have taken up this much of your time. It is all extremely nice. And I almost forgot. I gotta go with Moscow Real Lavender, number four. Yet again, I don't think this is made anymore. This is. If you wanna <laughs> get these products, you have to find them. Such a beautiful, warm, it's not that piney mountain lavender, the spike lavender. This is a, a French lavender, and man, it has a good scent. That's what you'd expect a purple bunny to smell like, right? Just nice, warm, fuzzy, mm, calming. It's incredible. So, y'all have a lovely day. Thank y'all for sticking around if you're still here. And uh, I'll talk to y'all soon. Thanks.